What if everything around you isn't just described by math, but actually is math? Now, this isn't some crazy new idea. It actually goes way back to ancient thinkers like Pythagoras. For a long time, this was just philosophy. But now, it's a full-blown scientific hypothesis. And the person who brought this idea into modern science is MIT physicist Max Tegmark. He calls it the mathematical universe hypothesis. And it's an idea that could change everything. Okay, this is the key point. He's not saying the universe is just like math. He's saying it is math. He actually argues it's the only way a reality could exist independent of us. Think about it. A universe without humans can't have words like chair or blue, right? And this radical idea leads to something even wilder, the multiverse. Tegmark lays out four levels of the multiverse. And trust me, they get progressively weirder. Level I is pretty straightforward. Infinite space means, well, there's probably another you out there somewhere. Level 2 has these bubble universes, each with different laws. It explains why ours is so perfectly tuned for us. Then you've got level 3. Every choice you make splits reality, creating a new universe. Wild, right? And level 4 is the grand finale. Here, any mathematically possible structure is a real universe. Okay, so what does this all mean for us, for the big questions like God or time? This whole framework really turns our most basic ideas about reality completely upside down. In this view, God isn't a being. It's the mathematical blueprint for everything that could ever exist. And time? It doesn't actually flow. We just experience one frozen moment after another. But, of course, a theory this huge has its critics, and they have some really good points. Like, why are we in such a complex universe? Tegmark's answer, simpler ones don't have anyone to observe them. You've probably heard, we might be living in a simulation, right? That's really just one type of mathematical universe. But the ma is even bigger. It says, the math doesn't need a computer. It just is. So, the whole point is this. The physical world we see might just be born from abstract ideas. So, could we just be self-aware pieces in some grand cosmic equation? What do you think? 